so everybody's talking about real estate valuations and what will happen to actual real estate valuations. Uh, so I hear one claim that the real estate is not going to be hurt that much because of why interest rates are going lower and the stimulus packages are coming higher. That's one claim. And uh, also real estate is not, this bubble is not a real estate uh, um, it is not triggered by real estate, just like the, the recession that we had in 2008. But um, in here, guys, uh, there are a couple of things that I'll tell you my opinion. First of all, definitely real estate is going to be affected without a doubt. Why and how? We don't know how much because we don't know how long this will take. So, so the flip side of things are obviously meaning uh, everything starts from NOI. Everything starts from NOI, meaning if, if, uh, if your tenant, whether it's a resi, whether it's a retail or, or, or a retail or, a, or an office, doesn't matter. Once a tenant can't pay or cancels their lease, their rent, their whatever, their payment, they can't do it because they don't have jobs, because they don't have income, because they don't have money coming in, because the economy doesn't have that cycle of money of transactions happening, they don't have money, they can't pay rent, your NOI goes down or God forbid goes gone and uh, you don't want to be there. So if the NOI goes gone, the cap rates are changing, everything is changing and, uh, and the market is changing and, and the market itself basically changes by actual transactions. Meaning um, <clears throat> if, if you have a transaction that is theoretical in your head, and he's saying, oh, my property, NOI went down, so meaning my value is now this and that. It's all true, but for actual purposes, for appraisal purposes, for bank purposes, for market purposes, nothing really happened. Nothing really happened. Why? Because nothing really changed in practice. In order for something to change in practice, there has to be a transaction. In order, in order for, for the market to change, there has to be a transaction, a sale and buy, and et etc. Et etc. But another thing that could trigger all this, this whole thing, that if all this cycle is happening and it will hit foreclosures, that will trigger buy and sell and transactions. So we are in a very dangerous place and we are in a very unknown place at this point. We know that the valuations went down. But they're all theoretical. The question is when the banks are going to start pulling the trigger. And right now, as long as the government are making them not to do it, not doing it. And we are we are in a place where where we can still hold on. Whoever can talk to their tenants, make sure if, if they can't if they can't pay and come towards that, their way, that's very important because you maintain a relationship. That's a different video I gave. Maintain a relationship. Try to engage a relationship again. Care about them. Call them. Whether they're retail, whether they're residential, or whatever they are, care about your tenants. They are your income. And, uh, and this is very important. This is very important. And the question is, what will happen? We have to try to hang in there day by day. That is the key. Day by day, we have to hang in there and try to find the solution for the next day. Because this thing is so unknown. It's so hard to... Plan ahead. So what I have to tell you, stay strong, stay safe, and uh, think ahead, but plan right now, plan right now, a few days ahead. This is not the, the same discussion for whoever is dealing with development. Developers is a whole different discussion, whole different discussion. I'll give another video about this. Actually, for developers, this could be a great opportunity, but this is a, it's a different discussion. But right now, the key of valuations, just to sum it up, is a very unknown, difficult position. And right now, yes, valuations are hit. Whether will it really target it and become a market thing, and that will be really, uh, how do you say, actualized in the market? That's a big question. We'll have to wait and see what will happen next, uh, what will unfold in the next few months. We should all got uh, all luck, success. Um, uh, hang in there. It's going to be good in the end. And uh, yeah, it's difficult for everybody. Everyone is in this together. And uh, feel the solidarity. Think outside the box. Uh, feel yourself for positive energies. And always uh, take advantage of this time to be with your family and get to know your family better, especially your kids. And uh, be with your spouse. Listen a lot. 
and uh, things will get better. You guys, real estate people stay strong. Take care.